Hello, everybody. Custom Mike's here. We are at a very special place today. We're at Phil's Toy Shop. A friend of mine from England, another uh, flippin' foreigner like myself. <laughs> uh, Phil, I worked with Phil actually started from Adam Rolls Royce. I met him when I was at Metal Crafters and working on a Bentley project. And uh, we've known each other for, what is it now? Is this uh, 97? Yeah, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, and I've worked together with him at N2A, building some of the 789s and other crazy stuff over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's taken a lot of the happy stuff uh, from uh, our past and uh, creating some really cool stuff down here in uh, Orange County area. Yeah. And uh, we're going to walk through and see some of his cool stuff. And, um, you know, it's uh, thank you for having us. Cause it's a pleasure. It's a, it's a it's, pleasure. It's a pure pleasure even to be here. So we're going to see a bunch of cool Corvettes and the crazy stuff that they're going through there. And, and this, this surface plate, I worked on the surface plate with Phil. This is a, what is it, 20 by 40? It's okay. 28 by 16. So it's 28, 28 feet long, 16 feet wide, and... About 8 inches thick. 8 inches thick. All metal, pure metal. Dead Thir straight. 36,000 pounds. How much? 36,000 pounds. Yeah. It's hell moving it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, so let me grab this and we can uh, kind of walk around and, and look at all the stuff. But yeah, look at this plate. That's all steel. Just solid. And then you got these, uh, you can tell them how this works just in general terms. Uh, well, we can use them with X and Y. Uh, XYZ coordinates and we can measure cars just anywhere we like you know on 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 uh, on the chassis when it's fixed on the on the frame so we can build cars really accurately yeah you can get all the sides and everything kind of accurate to the, you know side and front and everything and you can build fixtures on here to this is a fixture we built on on another special project. Another project. Uh, we can't talk about. Uh, but building the fixtures and making the car, you can duplicate cars really well on here. And, yeah. uh, I'm getting ready to build a fixture on this right now to do a repair on this red Corvette over here. Yeah, we should talk about it a little bit. Here's another one right here. Can you tell us a little bit about this one, Phil? Yeah, this is a 64 Corvette which is this blue body here. So this body is gonna end up on this nice new frame with uh, modern running gear and, and so on. Yeah. All new parts. You're doing quite a bit of those things, huh? I am doing quite a few right now. Yeah, and th this is a good example of what you are doing. Yeah, this one, this is a resto mod. So this is a 63. Um, it's got an LS3 engine in it. We do all the modifications, fit that, and this is almost ready to go off to body and paint uh, probably next week. Beautiful. Huge brakes. And it's got mostly C4? C4 running gear on this one, yeah. It's going to have air conditioning too. That's a little air conditioning. Yeah, right? air conditioning has everything. Yeah. Building consoles and other happy stuff in there too. Yes. This is yeah, all, does all new custom the, interior. Custom work. Master and man mocking stuff up and making <laughs> stuff work. So it's been really cool working with him over the years. This one's almost finished, but it's back in for some repairs. Yeah, this one sustained a little damage recently, so I'm going to build a fixture and we're going to put a whole new front clip on this car and then have it repainted again. This is a very similar car, it's got an LS3. Um, it's a very nice car. Beautiful. And this is one that's finished and uh, about ready, and ready to go out. Yeah, this one's ready to leave on uh, Thursday, I believe. Yeah, it's got some big meats under that one, too. I that's right. Tires. This is also an LS3. Wow. All right, let's talk about this one first. Aha. Uh -huh. So this one right here is? This is, I call it a BSA because I'd like to uh, bring back the BSA name. It's a vehicle I designed and built from the ground up. 
Um, you'll see the finished one in a second. This one is going no, to be a plug-in version. Yeah, let's not tease them anymore. Let's, let's show, you, <laughs> show them your pride and joy. Oh, okay. And then we'll go back to the other two versions. But yeah, this one, when did you finish this one? I finished this one about six years ago. With the Harley motor. Yes, yeah, a 100 inch Ultima aftermarket Harley engine. It's a um, composite body, so the lower body and upper body are carbon fiber and the fenders are fiberglass. It has an aluminum backbone frame, a ball worn a T5 gearbox with shaft drive to the back wheel and a BMW motorcycle trailing arm in the rear. Crazy. And fast? It is fast. Yeah. And very stable. It handles really well. Well, I love the plate, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So that's, that's kind of like this first one. Oh, I love the stripe on that one, too. Nicely done. All right, we'll talk about that one a little bit. So then you have two versions here. And you said this one's going to be... This one's going to be plug-in electric. And then this other one's going to be an open wheel version. Um, I love the opening. Yeah. A little aggressive. You're going to put teeth in there too? There's, <laughs> there's, there's going to be teeth in this one. We're going to paint up so it looks like a P-51 Mustang airplane. Oh, that's going to be so cool. That's going to be so cool. Yeah, I love the, head, the way the headlights come out of the front there too. It's really cool too, the incorporation of the mirror. Yeah, into the wind, windshield. Into the windshield, yeah. If you look so inside, you can see all the carbon lower body half. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of work in this thing, huh? And then this one to be like a T-top is kind of what you're working on there? Or? Well, yeah, this is a, hard, uh, a roof that I was planning on doing. Um, this would be all acrylic. And then to fold it away, we made it so that it would fit literally inside the car. Oh. So you can... <laughs> You can take it out in wet weather. Hard this, top convertible kind of sort of? Yes. That's cool. Yeah, Phil's a pretty innovative little guy. <laughs> yeah, and, and if you don't have a frame of one of these anywhere, right? Do you have a frame we can look I at? I haven't got, there's some pieces of one of the frames that are lent against the wall over there, but I don't have a complete frame yeah, together. It's really, it's really innovative, the back bolt. There's, there's that one done. that's in there that you can just about make out. Yeah. Everything's kind of incorporated in these plates and tubes and all the other stuff. And yeah, the frame, the frame doesn't have a weld in it. It all yeah. bolts together. Everything yeah. bolts together. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Yeah. yeah, it all bolts on. Yeah. So, yeah, this has been your baby for as long as I've known you. Yes, you it's know, been a... In you know, many different... Uh, what do you call it, versions yes. and ideas and that type of stuff. You know. Yes, it, it took a long time, but uh, now the first one's done and all the molds are made, then we're good. Yeah, very cool. So what, what, what do we got over there? What you... That's a 70, 1974 Ford Capri. The, the, those are kind of foreign jobs, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> built in Germany, actually. In Germany. Cologne, yeah. yeah, foreign jobs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're a cool little car. So what do we do with this one? This one, we've made a lot of mods to this one and there's more to go. Uh, actually, we pulled out a two liter four cylinder and we put a nice V8 302 into mm -hmm. this one. So it is a Ford and a Ford at least. Oh, right? at least it's a Ford, yes. Yeah. But we have modified the front suspension. This is Datsun 240Z front suspension. Oh, no kidding. Oh, I see all the adjustability yeah. stuff there. Yeah, I modified all the towers and we've changed the strut lengths, but everything else seemed to bolt in exactly as it needed. Oh, that's perfect. Nice little radiator shroud set up. And... That's actually a Volkswagen Sirocco. Hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> that's right. So that's going to be cool. What about this one? This is a 1976 Capri, which is a 2.8 V6, and it's a Mark II because... They only imported the Mark I and Mark II into the US, but we've converted the front of this one so it looks like a Mark III. Ah, upgrade time, huh? Upgrade time. This belongs to a friend of mine. 
Yeah? Yeah, he, he loves Capris. He's a big fan. Be a little screamers. I'd like to see those in the, on an autocross, huh? Yeah. Especially with the 302 in it. So. No, this is a 2.8 V6. Yeah. Yeah. So, and here you got some ideas. We can't really talk about that right there, but it is kind of cool ish. Yeah, that's a project I'm working on with someone, which is, a, I'll tell you a little bit, it's a, it's a diesel electric. And we are planning on it to be a disaster re rescue or response vehicle. Okay. Uh, that's about as much as I can, yeah, I can tell you right now. Yeah, a lot of technology in it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, Phil is also a, an accomplished electrician and knows a lot about uh, this kind of thing, you know. Yeah, that's a 175 kilowatt generator from a, a uh, car app that's uh, available right now. <laughs> Should we show the this? Yeah, I guess. You guess? Yes. <laughs> Got special stuff over here. That's all you get to see. <laughs> but yeah, so he's, a, he's an accomplished uh, electrician, concept builder. Hey, God, when I, when I met you the first time, we were working on that, that Bentley for the yes. Sultan of Brunei. Yeah. And what I remember the most, Phil, <laughs> Do you remember the wiring harness under the dash of that Bentley? That's right. We had to heat it up to get it into the car. I, I swear to God, it was this thick. Yes. <laughs> it's like they never changed anything. They just kept adding to it. That's right. Over the years. And it was based on the 62 Silver Shadow or something like that? Um, no, I believe seven, it was based on a 75, I believe. Yeah, and they've been adding to it but, since yeah, then. Yeah, they, they never took circuits out. They only added circuits in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I remember you guys fighting with that horn and trying to make it all fit with all yeah, the other Yeah, we used to have stuff. to warm it up so it would bend into there. Yeah, that was some of my first interaction with Phil <laughs> in like 97-ish, you know. So... But yeah, so really enjoy it. I appreciate you. Phil actually cleaned up the shop, put the stuff away that we can't really talk about over here. And there's some other stuff that he's put away that we can't talk about either, which I would love to see as they get... Uh, as we get further along, you'll see it. Yeah, and that the, the information becomes available. Correct. We'll come back and check it out. So this is a special, special project for Phil. Yep. I've seen this car all the way down to bare metal. Right. With the floor pans... I swear to God, the inside of the floor pans looks as good as the outside on this right. car. He's restored it with, like from the bottom of his heart. You know? this, this car was found by my friend Bob, who has the Capri here. Uh -huh. He found this in the desert, and I acquired it from him. And, uh, yes, I, I've completely stripped this. It's a 1967 Ford Cortina. It's been sandblasted back to bare metal. There was zero, absolute zero rust in this car. Yeah. So we've repainted and rebuilt, and I've only made two real modifications. Uh, and that is the lower front track rod ends, uh, or track rod control arms. Uh, you can't buy them anymore for Cortinas, so I had to modify some Compre ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I also put a steering rack in it rather than the steering box. So yeah, somebody's is commenting 440 Cordy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. But it's got a little screamer in it instead. Yeah, it's a 1600 cross flow, twin 40 Webers. And it runs, it's just not, I still got to uh, do the jets on the carbs and get it running correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Yeah. But I use all the original brake lines. It's 95% it's an original 67 car. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. You got a nice little, another uh, surface table there. What is it, about two inches thick? Yeah, um, it's about an inch and a half thick, yeah. yeah. Eight foot by five foot welding table. Nice. And then I see a plan for some... Uh, a little more room in here, huh? I'm toying with the idea of putting a stretch into this and make it a little longer. Hmm. But uh, it is in the, in the planning stage or thinking about, hence the chair in the corner there. 
Yeah, this is the thinking chair thinking right here. Thinking chair. We sit and stare at it and see what we can come yeah, up with. May, maybe a beer or two <laughs> and you sit here and you go, yeah. hmm, should we cut there or should we cut there or That's right. should we not cut anywhere? <laughs> and, now, let's see. You were talking about the frame that you might put this on. Yeah, I might put it on, a, on the old C2 frame from further down the shop there. But mm. um, like I say, I'm still considering how to do that or whether I want to do that. Yeah. It is a lot of work. Five window pickup on a C2 frame. Yeah. With a... A fifth wheel back end on it. Hmm. To tow a trailer, yeah. I like how you think there, man. <laughs> I like how you think, so... Now, what's up there? Is well, we can't a, really talk oh, about that one. we can't really one. talk about that no. one. No. Okay. That's, that's, that's another... A special project we can't talk about. Another special project. Yes. So, a lot of fun stuff. This one's almost finished. Can we, can we, can we hear this one, maybe? The, the Corvette? Yeah, we open the hood. And yeah, sure. This, this one's almost ready to go, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's shiny for sure. All upgraded, fancy seats. Is those billet windshield thingy blower thingies? These are, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's what we call motivation. <laughs> I bet you this thing scoots. Oh yeah. Wow. LS3. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Just whispering. Oh. You made yeah. those those hands or the oh the whole dash is uh, is uh, custom and and door handles they're all billet. Look at those things, all hand shaped. God, everything's wrapped beautifully. You know, I had a '65, and I spent a couple of years rebuilding it, making it pretty and. I took it back to original. I drove the sucker for three weeks, beat the living shit out of it. And it was fantastic for three weeks. Then after that, it's like, it's like driving a freaking old pickup truck. <laughs> you know, it's a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, I was mad. I spent two years. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to use language there. I spent two years restoring this thing and it was like driving a, a Chevy pickup, an old Chevy pickup truck with a fancy fiberglass body on it. Right. Now this. This is a whole different ball game because of the C4 running gear, coil over springs all round, bigger brakes. It's a different thing altogether. Yeah. Unfortunately, budget is probably slightly different. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, is that something we can talk about or not talk about? Uh, let's just say there's a lot of zeros involved. There's a lot of zeros involved, but all those series comes with a lot of smiles too, I bet. Oh yeah, for the I customer. I can't even imagine. The customer loves it. Yeah, I have no doubt. Uh, yeah, that would make this car fun again, you know? And there's a lot of people doing this kind of stuff, but I mean, obviously there's uh, a lot of likes going oh, yeah. that way. All, all, of these, all four of these Corvettes, or well, four and a half, are the same customer. Ah, well he's a smart one then, huh? <laughs> And he's just bought another 67 coupe, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So that gives you, uh, oh look, what are those? What are you doing over here? They're 1960s. They belong to my good friend, Bob. Ah. Uh, they're Lambretta scooters. And he uh, has quite a collection and wants to, or he's restoring them slowly but surely. Wow. 
Yeah, you got a little bit of everything going on. There's yeah. some more of them stuff up there too. That's right. right. I just had I had one. I just sold it a few months back. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, there's stuff, you know, you come into one of these shops, there's there's cool stuff everywhere. Is that an electric bike? Yeah, that's a, a Think electric bike. Uh, I don't think it works anymore. Yeah, <laughs> that's a hood we can't talk about either. Yeah, that's a hood you can't talk about. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, and oh, I got to take a peek at those little half models or what scale are those? Uh, that's a good question. I, I just handmade these out of foam and I do it to a scale that looks right. Yeah, so... That's where you started with your little... That's where I started with a three-wheeler. Sat in my backyard of my uh, apartment, and uh, that's where it all started. Wow. And, and then... We, we scanned that and then turned it into, you know, com computer data and, and, and you built the it. big one. Yeah, and you took it, like, to big form, or you went directly to... Uh, from scan data from this, we cleaned it up and then went to a full-size model. On top of a platform like that. On huh? that, yeah. Yeah. And then you got a few other ones. That's that. What is this? This is that's a concept of a Buick. Wow. And this is a model of the seven eight nines we used to build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this is just out of my head, really. Yeah. And would fit. I scaled it so that the wheelbase would it would fit on a C six Corvette. Mm. What about this? This one, I started that, haven't finished it. It's a, it's a model of... Artish. Well, it's a model of the Lexus that was in the movie Minority Report. Ah, we saw that one That's at right. the Peterson Museum. Right. That's the uh, red one, right? I, I, I modeled this from, just from photographs. Wow. What about this one? Um, that's my version of a Panos. Wow. A Panos Esperanti which I, I, I was involved in the build of the first ones of those at uh, a, stu a local studio. Wow. Yeah, things that goes on in a freaking UK foreigner. Huh? <laughs> That's a P4 Ferrari, well, it's that one. This one? Yeah. P4 Ferrari. Huh? Yeah. Well, the things you can whittle in your time. Huh? That's right. <laughs> so, all right, well, this is Phil Arnold at Phil's Toy Hi. Shop. With Scotto taking a few shots for us. It's been a long day for us, but we figured uh, we'll get this one in today. Oh, if they wanted to talk to you, what, who do they call? What do, they, do you want to give them a number? Or? Uh, yeah, I, I prefer to receive a text. I don't normally okay. pick up the phone, so you can text me on 714-308-0130. Okay, and remember, text him. Don't call him. All right. So, anyway, this isn't the last time we're going to be here. So for a while. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, letting us come in and enjoy your shop for a little bit. Well, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Yep. We appreciate all of you hanging at Custom Mics. See ya.